Good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday, Monday, the first, I believe. And I've kind of propped my tent up. I got the ice out of the middle. I bailed all the water out with a bucket, but this is what I ended up with. When this wall tent collapsed under the snow load this winter, it was an absolute disaster. It destroyed, well, it destroyed the tent. So you can see I just kind of have it propped up right now and I'm trying to kind of evaluate what I have to work with and what I have to do. And I don't know if there's any way around it. I think I'm gonna have to tear this tent apart and put it back together. So that's my, that's my project for today is I'm gonna take this whole thing apart, try to bend this frame back into shape so I can reuse it. Yeah, good luck on that. From there, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna try to put it back together. Just take everything that was in the tent, put it in a pile. Try to take me a half hour to get everything out and then I'm just gonna tear it down. What else can I do? I got the cabin down here. There's a little unfinished cabin that I had built for my kids. And I can stay in that. But the tent's got a wood stove and it's nice and bright. And I just kind of prefer it. I better get at it. Okay, so here's where we're at at the moment. I've almost got the tent back up and I managed to figure out how to do it without taking all the frame down, taking the tent down and everything. Uh, there's uprights and then there's kind of roof poles. I pulled the uprights out so the roof poles can sag down and I can put those back in place and then put the roof or put the wall poles back up in and, and then get it back up on the platform. I've been bending everything back into shape and I'll show you how I'm doing that. I've got my old pipe rack. I've had this pipe rack for 15 years. Stick the, stick the pipe in the end. Now that ain't straight, but as long as the end is in line with the rest of it, it's gonna work. It's probably pretty good. Big old bow in this dude. Some of these are like rainbows. Really bad. should be the last ones. Let's go put this thing back together. The view is starting to get a little better. Had a bunch of garbage here to clean up from the winter. You can see the tent's almost back up. What I really want to do, I really want to get onto that cabin project because that that's impervious to snow, but the, the tent, the tent isn't. This is a sad state of affairs. This is what it looks like inside the tent right now. Now I've spent my last two summers living in this wall tent. Loved every minute of it. Cozy, nice view. Little wood stove in here. And uh, this is so disturbing. This, this feels to me like, you know, like a tornado hit your house type of thing. I have so much to do today to get this place situated because what I want to do is I want to be in here tonight sitting by a cozy fire listening to the radio hanging out with a dog and I'm I'm not close yet I'm not even in the ballpark There. Put this other. <laughs> there we go. Who's kicking my butt? 
this is what I'm doing. I'm sliding the end out the side of the tent, up underneath the skirt, putting it in the pipe. <clears throat> Lifting it up and setting it in place. Got a couple more poles to put in. I want to make sure these go right back in the same place they were. So here I am, I got the tent up. This whole place is a disaster. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a disaster, but it is back up. Oh my goodness. I think I'm gonna do is have a coffee break. Uh, chill out for a little bit. Straighten up some of the braces on these corners. Nail down the posts, all boring stuff, nothing worth filming. And uh, then I'll, I'll start cleaning this place back up and nailing it all back together. Hopefully I'll be able to spend the night in here. You can see I'm just trying to, oh, trying to dig out from this disaster we've got going here. Could be worse. Could be much, much worse. Neighbor sled dogs. I lost a day in Port Saskatchewan. I'm kind of losing another day here. Usually I show up in this place is Move in ready, you just walk in and it's good to go. Yesterday when I got here, this looked like it was Hurricane Katrina come through here. A tent collapse is nothing to sneeze at. I think I've pretty much got this place as good as I can get it. I'll show you. I got the stove back in, pipe installed, Daisy's dog bed, kitchen tables back up, a little wet on the floor from the hole in the roof, but that's fixed now. Cot, bed, ice box, old army blanket for a door. That's as much as I'm going to do today. I think I'm just going to tip over. Call it good. Thanks for watching.